Hello guys, this is Saurav. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to send email from a static website hosted in AWS S3. Amazon provides us the platform to host static website in S3 bucket uh, having a static website in very minimal cost. And almost all company has contact us page which is dynamic. So if we want to host our website which has contact us page there isn't any straightforward way to achieve that but but we can combine s3 hosted uh, site having contact us page to work with api gateway lambda and simple email service to send the email to the site owner the background is uh, you have to create a, a contact us page and inline javascript so the waveform will collect the user data and the JavaScript will grab the data and push the data to API Gateway. And the API Gateway triggers the Lambda function. And again, the Lambda function will take the data from the API Gateway and send the email through simple email service. So let's do the lab. So let's create the Lambda function first. Uh, then create the function go to the blueprint and select any uh, hello world uh, lambda function created by javascript i mean sorry node.js okay let's select this lambda function uh, sample lambda, lambda function created by node.js Okay, give, give the name uh, as you want. So I have to create some role in the IAM. Let's go to the IAM uh, so that this Lambda function can be executed and uh, send the email to uh, through the ACS. Okay, let's go to the roles. So create role. So it will be a Lambda service. Uh, next. So Lambda. Okay, so I'll give the Lambda, uh, AWS Lambda execute role and ACS role, ACS full access I'll give currently. So yeah, give some name to the role. Yeah, sorry. Okay, so I'll create this name I mean I will use this name okay so let's go to the lambda console again okay choose existing role as I have already created so send email using lambda function okay so let's create the function yeah so now lambda function is created so let's uh, go to the code and write the code as per our requirement so i ha i already have a working uh, lambda function created uh, as uh, in node.js okay and the runtime is actually I mean the working runtime for this script is uh, 6.10 so let's uh, uh, yeah so now 
you have to uh, change few things in this uh, lambda function like the sender and receiver okay so i already have the email id uh, registered in, in the simple email service so i already have uh, added my email ids over here so what this function is doing it is uh, importing the aws sdk tool uh, then it is creating an object uh, to send them email from this SES then here is the response function so uh, after execution what will be the response of that uh, function so that will come and come here okay and this is the uh, lambda function syntax so this event is the actually uh, uh, trigger and which will actually work with these all the variables uh, coming from the uh, API gateway. I mean, which will be passed through this uh, uh, API, I mean, Lambda function. So here are the variable coming from the uh, JavaScript and waveform. So these are the variables you have to set. Okay, then here it is actually triggering the email. So let's save the function. Okay, so the Lambda function is created. Uh, so I'm going to test the Lambda function whether it really works or not. So I'll create a test case over here. So for example, okay, keep it, uh, the name, keep it hello world. Send mail. So that, uh, that function will take, I mean, uh, take few argument as a JSON format. Those are like name. So I'll give my name here. There will be another uh, argument. Okay, D E S C. This is another uh, argument. Okay, so give the name to this test case. So that's all, create the test case. Okay, now you can execute this test uh, case. Let's execute it. Okay. So if you see uh, the function is succeeded, okay. And there is no output because uh, in the function that will not uh, that that will not give any output. Okay, let's see in the email whether oh, yeah see uh, we have received the email. So let's delete this email and integrate the API gateway. So the, the function is currently working. Okay, so let's go to the uh, API gateway.
okay get started okay so I'll create a new API gateway so give a name to the gateway anything you can give okay so now the gateway has been created so now we have to create the resource okay let's say uh, this is I mean give some give some name to this uh, API gateway resource so for example I've given email okay and this res uh, this resource should have some method to get a post so in our situation we'll create a post method to post the data to the API, I mean yeah, lambda function. So create method that will be a post. Okay. So now uh, in the post method, what it will do? Uh, in our scenario, we'll select uh, the lambda function which we have already created and in which zone it is uh, present so that we have to provide here so we uh, i have created the uh, lambda function in the same zone i mean region so let's uh, select the send mail function save okay so this is telling you are about to give api gateway permission to invoke your lambda function yeah obviously so click create i mean click on ok So the the API gateway has been created. So now what we have to do? Uh, we have to upload our contact us page, okay? Uh, and and in the contact us page, we have to point this API gateway's URL to uh, post the data. So I already have the already I mean I already have the contact us form created. So Let's go here. So here in this script, what I have to do, I only have to uh, modify the URL. So from where I will get this URL? So let's go to the API gateway. So to get the URL, we have to deploy the, uh, I mean the API gateway method. So let's deploy it. Okay, uh, another thing I forgot to inform uh, that is we have to enable the C, uh, CORS feature to allow uh, the origin to send the email. So my origin is here. Uh, I already have the site uh, that is uh, HTTP. India dot online. Okay, so when I will see your feature here. Okay, now we have to deploy the API gateway. So that will provide you provide us the uh, live URL from where we can trigger. Okay, so give the stage name as production. Okay, let's upload. okay so it is now deployed and we'll get the uh, invoke url from the post method so here is the url let's go to the contact us form and paste the url invoke url into the uh, xml http request okay Let's upload the contact us form uh, into the S3 bucket. So I'm not going to show you how can you host the uh, your website, static website into the uh, S3 bucket. So I'm assuming you already know that. 
I already have a hosted uh, website, static website in the S3. That is explore the India dot one line. Okay. Okay, let's open the uh, site first. Okay, so here is the contact us page. So where I have linked the contact us uh, anchor. So slash contact slash index dot uh, HTML. Okay, let's create a folder contact. Okay, let's upload the uh, index.html. I mean, that is exact. I mean, that is the contact us form I have created. Uh oh, I'm sorry. What was the name? Index.html. Okay. So here is my contact us uh, page. So let let's give the input. Okay, email ID is Saurav at gmail.com and how uh, this is a test mail from in history. Okay. Okay, let's submit. So now the form has been submitted and that form, I mean that in, inside that form, the JavaScript has been, has taken the date of submitted in the form and the JavaScript uh, submitted the user data uh, as a post request to the API gateway and then API gateway sent that request to lambda function and then lambda function triggers the i mean send the email through simple email service let's go to email and see whether the email has come or not so okay so yeah see uh, i have received the email so thank you guys uh, for watching the video if you like the video uh, please like the like and share thanks